During his campaign for the presidency, Donald Trump pledged to put America first. But has his unique brand of economic nationalism paid off two years down the road? By many measures, the U.S. economy is booming. Unemployment is going down, following a trend that started under President Obama. It's now at the lowest level since 1969. Economic growth surged to 4.2 percent in the second quarter of this year and remains strong at 3.5 percent. Boosted by Trump's cuts to corporate tax under his 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. But as the amount of money going into state coffers has gone down, the budget deficit has risen, expanding to an estimated $782 billion in Trump's first full fiscal year as president. Some critics of the president's policies warn that the U.S. economy is riding a sugar high. They say that the recent increase in growth is partly down to companies rushing to secure products before trade wars worsen. Trump's tariffs have proved to be one of his most controversial tactics at home and abroad. His main target has been China, a country he accuses of unfair trade practices. On the international stage, Trump has steadily torn up trade deals, withdrawing from the Trans-Pacific Partnership and forcing a renegotiation of NAFTA. But it's how his policies are being felt by everyday Americans that's about to be put to the test.